Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. We've made it to March. It's March 1st. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. Uh, fairly active week in the markets, relatively quiet on the data front, uh, so more of attention on the new issues. What did you see? Yeah, so this week overall, munis were flat week over week, and they underperformed the Treasury market. But we did see munis outperform Treasuries for the month of February. Um, this week, we saw another week of mutual fund inflows. Uh, the market was really able to digest all that new issue supply with the help of those inflows. So there's really no issues on the new issue, no issues on the new issue front. Um, the focus really is on the new issue supply. Um, so far this year, year to date supply has been the most as we've seen since 2007. Um, and we're also seeing reports of substantial increases in supply over the next two months. So I think the market's waiting to see what comes out and, and how the market digests what's going to come. And I'm down here at the Bond Dealers of America Market Structure Conference. We're in Charlotte for the last couple of days, and, and that supply outlook was definitely uh, part of the discussion. One of the biggest deals next week from the University of California Regents is uh, a restructuring of old Build America bonds from the uh, the early 2009-2010 period. And there's been a lot of ac uh, discussion in the marketplace about whether those bonds, there's about 100 billion of them still outstanding, might be more uh, favorably refunded uh, due to a recent court ruling. Uh, I, I think the UC deal has taken advantage of that interpretation, and there are others lining up behind them. So a lot of discussion about that down at this conference. Speculation was that could add 20 to $30 billion of uh, additional uh, new money supply, refundings, but new money supply or new issue supply to the market this year. So uh, something certainly that uh, investment bankers and issuers are taking a look at uh, if they have that opportunity. So that's something to, to see how it's going to play out over the next uh, couple of months. Next week, uh, fairly, the, well, let's take a look back at this week first. Uh, as I mentioned, it was a fairly active week in the in the new issue market, and BAM had a very active week, uh, more than three hundred million price. What uh, deal stood out to you? Yeah, so, so we were very consistent week over week. We had three hundred and thirty million actually price. So that was across twelve series. Um, the largest deal of the week was a competitive sale for Lehigh County, Pennsylvania. Um, that was one hundred sixty five million dollars with Morgan Stanley. Um, there was an, also a nice size negotiated deal in the state of Utah. We don't see those very often. $47 million Millard School District with B of A Securities. So um, all of the deals that BAM had priced had great reception in the market. Um, so we'll see what happens. Great. Well, thanks for your time this week, Chris. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.